my merch is here. I designed them all by myself. What, what? Anyways, if you're interested in any of these designs, just go ahead, click the link in the description, and I'll see you guys over there. So today, we are doing cheap acrylic paints versus professional acrylic paints. Are professional acrylics superior to the cheap acrylics? Is it worth buying them? What are the benefits? What's the cost difference? Let's talk about it all. So stick around and let's get started. Whew. Let's jump into our experiments. This week I did one painting with expensive acrylics and one with cheap acrylics. Can you guys tell the difference? If you guessed the left one as our more expensive paints, then you would be correct. This is not a sponsored video, but I did use the brand Liquitex because that's what I happen to have. I have a heavy body professional version, and then I have their basics version as well. We're gonna talk about the sizes of these, the cost differences, what I thought about them, and do a few experiments to test it all out. First thing you'll notice is my heavy body acrylics are two ounce containers and they range in price from $11 to $15. They're actually more expensive on the website. That cadmium red was closer to $20 on there. Whereas this basics container is eight and a half ounces. That's more than four times as much paint as I got with the heavy body acrylics. And the cost range was almost exactly the same. Now I happen to have one more brand, the Apple Barrel brand, a cheap brand I get from my local Walmart and I thought I would just test out the three of these paints side by side by side. The very first thing I noticed was just how creamy that heavy body paint was. There's a big difference in the thickness of that texture and when I did rub it over my fingers I could really see a huge difference in terms of the coverage that I was getting on my finger. As I rubbed these cheap paints around you could really see through to my actual finger whereas I got full coverage with that heavy body paint. Doing a little side by side by side of the three colors, I didn't notice a huge difference, although the heavy body professional is a pure cadmium yellow and that middle basics is a yellow hue. Correct me if I'm wrong, but my impression of what it means for something to be a hue versus a pure pigment is just that, that a hue is an imitation of that pigment. The hue can be used as a replacement to cut costs or possibly to have a safer health impact. The next experiment I wanted to get into was just trying to cover these pencil drawings of smiley faces with our cheap versus our expensive acrylic paints. So I did a little bit of a tally. I kept track of how many layers I was putting on each of them before I could get complete full coverage over that pencil drawing. And not surprisingly, it went extremely quickly with our heavy body paints. I only had to do three layers before I had pretty much entirely full coverage. And then I went into layer after layer after layer of our basics. And it really took quite a while to get the same kind of coverage. And in the end, I ended up with about 14 layers of our basics and you could still see our smiley face through there. I wasn't sure if it was gonna pick up on camera, so I just didn't keep going. And obviously we had quite a bit of buildup and texture going on after doing 14 layers of that paint. Next, I went into painting my two paintings. This first one is with our heavy body acrylics. I'm gonna say I had a really positive experience, honestly, with both the cheap and the expensive acrylics, but I did notice some major differences in terms of A, how pigmented the paint was, B, how full coverage the paint was. Especially with my whites, that's something that was really striking. I think this is the first time I've really been able to get a super strong, bright white out of my acrylics. 
because with the basics they're just so much more translucent that you're not really able to get full coverage without a ton of layers. So I think that's something that can be a benefit and it can be a drawback too just depending on what you're doing. But for me now I think in the future if I am really going to try to push that contrast and get a super strong bright white then I definitely think the heavy body acrylic is the way to go for that. I'll be real though, there's definitely benefits to having a more translucent kind of acrylic though too. I'll talk about those more as we get into the cheap half of our painting process and you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. Overall though, I really did enjoy working with these heavy body paints. I tend to be a really thin and light painter, so this isn't something I implemented very much, but if you are more into impasto, if you like having texture in your paintings, if you would like to preserve some brush strokes in the work, then heavy body is a great way to go. That's one of their claims on their website, is that you can get that real thick and textured effect. I think there is also a really nice vibrancy to these heavy body paints that I'm not sure if it is as easy to capture with the lighter, thinner, less expensive paints. Because that pigment is just so strong and because you don't have to work it up in tons of layers before you're seeing that really pop out. Moving on to our less expensive side though, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I really was building up layers, especially with that white. It took a while to get it to just really be as full and bright as what I was aiming for. The thing that's great though about these and something you might be interested in, especially for me doing water, sometimes it's just really nice to build up layers and sometimes you want to have a more translucent paint, which you can get from just adding more water or adding medium to your more heavy body paints. It's just a different experience. I think you kind of get a feel for what you like and how you feel about it. I don't feel like cheap acrylic paints have no place. I still really enjoyed painting the second paint painting with the cheaper ones. And like I was saying, what I really liked about it was that I could preserve the effect of the water being very translucent, especially as I used my white, because that one just really had the most impact to me. I was really able to have the sea spray kind of show through to the colors behind it and just get a better range of whites because I could build up the brighter sections and then I could leave other sections more shaded. I will say though, when I do want to create that contrast, I am going to start employing those heavy body whites just because you can really really pump it up and just amp up your contrast which I think makes a humongous difference in terms of getting a really realistic image. Overall though, really positive experiences with both. I am going to say I don't want to just completely rule out the cheap ones after this experience but heck yeah I'm definitely excited to have those really nice heavy body paints and just continue to explore with them. I think looking at the two pieces side by side you can can see that the heavy bodies just had a vibrancy to them. They had a really strong contrast. There's very rich colors. Things seem much less muted, especially because I didn't prime my MDF board before I painted on top of it. That brown from the board was able to show through more with my cheaper paints than it was with my more pigmented paints. As far as my experience with these paints, this is a first impression. I am so wide open to anything you guys have to contribute if you have more experience with a acrylics as I'm sure so many of you do. I am completely open to any suggestions you guys have. If you have a much stronger feeling about why it is good to use the professional paints over the cheaper ones, let me know what your thoughts are. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and like and stick around for more action. Check out my merch in my new store. The description has the link and I will see you guys next Friday. I think that's it.